how men get testosterone prescriptions. I'm going to discuss three sources for you guys right here from the Anabolic Doc RV as I'm on vacation, still working for you guys. Okay, how do men get testosterone? I boil it down to three simple places, venues, if you will. Number one, it's traditional medical facilities, primary care doctors, endocrinology doctors, urologists, those are surgeons. And then of this breakdown venue, it's either the doc or it's going to be a mid-level practitioner, nurse practitioner, or a PA. Now, this is going to be obviously a great place to get real testosterone from a commercial uh, pharmacy like Walgreens or CVS. Again, this is America, but over in Europe and abroad in Pakistan, Australia, all these countries, you guys have regular doctors. And I know what the issues are going to be. Here are the issues. Number one is accessibility, in, in my perspective. You have just no access to these doctors or nurse practitioners, not by calling them up. Unless you have concierge medicine in America, you're going to pay several thousand dollars a year typically for that. And they may not even understand or feel comfortable with the liability of prescribing antigen. So number one. Number two is resistance. In these traditional doctor facilities, their, their priority is not testosterone or anti-aging and all this stuff. Their priority is taking care of a lot of people. So there's going to be something called counter-transference, counter-transference, where the healthcare provider may have an attitude towards you and dislike you and you could feel it. This is just, this is medical ethical stuff. Transference where the patient has an attitude towards the doctor and it's bad. Counter-transference is the reverse where the doctor has the attitude towards the patient. I know you guys see it. It's been around for years. It, they just, they're just not in our group. You know, things are changing though. I mean, they're, they're just gonna have an attitude, right? You see the doc has an attitude, doesn't know anything, and that's not gonna be good. And that's why this venue is really not the number one venue. And it, but it's, it could be, and a lot of you guys, let's give comments, have this as your venue. Insurance could pay for it. We get insurance to cover many men that I take care of with their insurance. We do the prior authorization properly and it gets covered by insurance. Men like that. But again, we can't promise that and that's gonna be rare. But it's still not expensive because with good RX, it's gonna be cheap. Again, you need access to these doctors here. And the last one is the doctors, I know traditional physicians and, and nurse practitioners, mid-level practitioners, um, PAs, APRNs, they're, they're, they're busy with other things. They, they're misinformed about what's going on. They'll give you a, a mill of testosterone every two weeks. It's up and down. It's cringy. They don't know anti-estrogens. They don't really understand what to do, you know, and then they, they should be good for the blood pressure and the cholesterol, my ABCDs, and they can be great for that to work together. But again, their, their priority is slammed with every elderly people and head to toe medicine guys. You have to understand it's not their priority and they don't understand the ABCDs clearly, obviously like me and many of you guys. So that's, that's number one venue is traditional medicine. The next venue, number two, is the anti-aging medicines uh, facilities, testosterone clinics. Now, currently they are wide open with telemedicine since uh, sometime beginning of 2020 when the Fed, the pandemic, COVID, reduced the restrictions on that with the states and now these places are open and they're going to stay open according to Attorney Collins and I've done videos on this with him, what the Fed's going to do that they're gonna keep this open for anyone who wants to use these facilities. It's not just for testosterone, it's for opiate withdrawal and transgender and these things. It's just, it is traditional medicine, still open telemedicine. To the end of 2023, November, you could, that's new patients can, can appropriately have access. Now, these facilities, again, some of them are questionable. It's potentially dangerous. You're at your own warning on that, guys obviously. Now, once you're in a clinic, you have to, once you have that relationship, right now it's open still. They, they held that off and they're going to get back on this. We just don't know when. They're holding it off once you have that relationship to November, the end of November 2024. So again, a shout out for you guys that if you want to uh, try to find a decent clinic, give, guys, give some comments here. You think your clinic is great? Again, let's, this is why I'm here and with you guys, with our synergy with the comments for all these men in the world to understand this. 
all over the world, at least in North America, so men can know what's a good clinic and what's not. This is openness. Now, these clinics can be quite expensive, right? The, the cheapest one is like $99 a month, and I think with that, you're going to get, you know, testosterone. So that's like 1200 bucks a year. And then if you look at the other ones, depending on the drugs you're going to get, because they'll give you other drugs, including epimorelin, secretagogues, real growth hormone, you know, you can get all sorts of different, uh, you know, things in here. So they can go up to even 2,500, even 4,000. I've even seen guys pay up to like mixed concierge where it's like 40 grand a year. It is what it is, guys. So, and you may want to see, uh, this is, telemedicine is up over 3,800% since the beginning of the pandemic. You could see an article in JAMA Internal Medicine, 2022, uh, Dubin et al. Uh, you're gonna see, this is my evidence for this telemedicine staying wide open. So again, you, you wanna use those facilities. They do have, in my opinion, access to good testosterone and the ancillary drugs, like, like again, HCG if they can get it. I don't like an Adderellin you know, uh, clomiphene and s some of the sexual PD-5 inhibitors, they can have access to great medications with compounding facilities in America. It is true. Then you use me with the Anabolic Doc app and you pull it all together. Okay, so that's number two. That's the second venue. Uh, the third venue is going to be the illicit. This is the big one right here, right? Most of you guys are probably in this place here. Please give comments. It's illicit. It's underground. It's domestic or it's abroad online uh, facilities or you're getting local um, access to just someone who's selling you steroids. In other countries, it's not illicit, so it's not illicit. You don't, in Mexico, it's not illegal and it's not even a prescription requiring. You get it over the counter. Now, again, you have to be careful with, with a grade in some of the manufacturers there, but Mexico is, has phenomenal pharmacies. You just have to know where to go, guys. That's why I'm uncensored for you guys. I want to be very honest about this. I don't want you doing this. But in the end of the day, this is my survey. This is the one, two, three. These are the three places that men get access to this stuff. And this is the biggest one. The problems are very clear. You don't know where you're getting the raw material. They can be contaminated. They can be uh, it, it, purity, dose. You're getting counterfeit, what you think is going to be Anavars, Dianabor, or Superdraw, or God forbid something else and it's a problem. So with this one, I think it's ethical that if you're on testosterone, you could go to your PCP, your endo, urology, nurse practitioner, or even a walking clinic and say, I'm on these, can you please help me? I don't wanna be getting it online. And if, if, again, if they have the heart for it, you know, and they feel comfortable, you could just ha have them work with the Anabolic Doc app and you, could, you know exactly what to do, guys. So it's less is more, A, B, C, Ds, understanding your health. So that's really it, guys. That's, those are my three facilities where men in the whole world are getting steroids. It's only gonna open up more and more and more, and I think the telemedicine is gonna be great for getting real good quality testosterone and ancillaries. That's gonna open up in the world, and then you're gonna need to know exactly what to do with it, and that's where you come to me with the anabolicdocapp.com where I'm not your doctor there, I'm just an influencing educator and you get all your information in there, but it is uncensored. So with that guys, I wanna close and say, thank you so much for all your comments and for continuing to, to believe in me and trust me and follow me. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed already and uh, we'll see you next week guys, thank you. This is what you get with the anabolic doc app. Number one, a digital history and physical exam. Number two, weekly Zoom meetings with me. Number three, discounted commercial labs. Number four, weekly member only uncensored videos. Number five, anabolic docs mailbag. You can't come to the meetings or you don't wanna to come to the meetings. You ask a question, I wanna respond to your question by making a video, put it back up on the app and you get to see your own question. Lastly, diagnostic and management library that is easily searchable by keywords.